Coming in, come on in guys, there's plenty of room, slide behind others. Those of you who are taking pictures, please come forward and the rest of you just keep coming in. I have another student group standing behind you. Do I have the whole student group or not? No. This is a replica of um, the there's, white There's hands. more room right here. There's Over room right office. here and right mm -hmm. here and right here. The right come on. Forward. Tiny people, stand forward. That's me. I have to always think of my, oh, thank you. I have to think of myself because I'm tiny. Well, this is the way President Reagan's Oval Office looked the day he walked out. He walked out that door, which goes out to the Rose Garden, and started the rest of the day. You walked in that door, but you're going to walk out this other door, and it goes out to the people he works with throughout the day. The door cut into the corner wall. I should say wall because there's no corners. It's an oval room. The hinge at the top and a doorknob. That's where you would walk in if you had an appointment with the president. And the door over here behind me goes to the president's private office. President Reagan did not use that private office. He said he worked very hard to get into this room, so this was his office. Could you mind letting that little young lady standing behind you forward? I, I meant the other one, too. No, both of you. Come on. You can't see over these gentlemen that are standing in front of you. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful docent. She's trying to, to get the high schoolers <laughs> to learn. President Reagan did not use that private office because he said he worked hard getting into this room. And this was his office. The windows faced the south line. Now, if you were president, and I can't pick a certain color except for purple over here, a shirt that is purple, because the rest of you have black and blue and gray. Anyway, you can decorate this room any way you wish to. The carpeting that you see is a sample of what President Reagan started his second term. But there's three things in this room no matter who's president, male, female. You can't change these three things. One is the mantle over the fireplace, the American flag and presidential flag behind the desk, and the presidential seal. Now the presidential seal is based on the number 13. Why? 13 original colonies. 13 stars, 13 clouds, 13 letters in E Pluribus Unum. If you look to the talent on the left, it has 13 arrows. The talent on the right has one olive branch, but there's 13 leaves and 13 olives. And you can't change it except once it did change, I mean, they changed it when they added states to our union, but otherwise they changed it in 1945 under President Truman. He asked them to redesign and have the, air, the eagle face to the right. So before that, it was facing the left. Now, there's a lot of replicas in this room. So I mentioned the desk. It's made from the best timbers of an English ship, HMS Resolute, stuck in the ice, retrieved, returned to Queen Victoria, and she printed, presented the desk to President Hayes in 1880. President Reagan sat down at this desk and he could not slide in comfortably, so they added a piece on the desk, which is this piece down here. It is still on the desk today. The original is in the Oval Office being used by our current president. There's a few originals in this room. The one I like to mention is the chair. It was a gift from Mrs. Reagan. President Reagan used it for eight years as governor for the state of California, eight years as our president, and he sat in this chair here in this room that he called his final office. Thank you guys very much.